knows how much you, you love your Lord, man. Because you think the Lord born today, you a fool, man. The Bible told you you were born during the time of Passover, man. Because he couldn't find, they couldn't find a hotel to stay in. You know? That shows how much you love the Lord. He said, he said um, you are in me as I am in you. How many, and the Lord is the word. How much of the word is in you, man? It would be easy to be doing the right thing and to not be caught up. That's why it says, if it were possible, it'd be able, uh, they'd be able to see the very elect. You know why they ain't going to be able to see the very elect? Because the Most High is in the very elect, in, in the Son, and which is the word of the Bible, man. In its entirety, man. Okay? Uh, it kind of goes with uh, Isaiah 33 6. It keeps, it keeps the elect stable, man. Okay? It keeps you stable and know what to do in situations because that word is within you. Yeah, the, the words are oracle. It's the commandments of the Most High, man. It's your direction. Or else you're going to be like a ship in a storm. You know, a cartwheel. You know? Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 15. Then say he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than thee. Yep. Than these. Uh, than these. Like. Yep. So basically, Tammuz is, is a whole pagan. Simiramis is a Tammuz. Really, Nimrod, Tammuz is a pagan ritual, man. Believing that this, this sun god has resurrected. And, and when he died, because I believe he got, I forgot how he got killed. I think I killed by a bull or something like that. A, a boar, yeah, a wild boar or something like that. And his blood spilled on a tree, and that tree sprouted up. But really, um, there's a, another part that would happen. Um, you know, brothers, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's another sto uh, a story to add on to that. That basically, Semiramis, uh, Nimrod was a, like a, a, a powerful king. And he was running, ruling this country, he was ruling this uh, kingdom, and basically Semiramis was over religion, and he gave her, the, he gave her the power over religion, and she used that power, which you got New Year's, <coughs> once a year they should party real hard, and basically they got everybody uh, doped up. She got everybody doped up on that shit, and they ate, and they ate, ate them. You know what I'm saying? And basically. Say he was reborn when she had him. She basically what happened. Nimrod found out that she was cheating on him, so he ate him. And then uh, she, she had that baby uh, the, that she the, with the dude she cheated on, and said that was Nimrod born uh, uh, back back in um, through reincarnation. And, and, um, and that's where you get Egypt with the phallus and all that and all that um, um, immaculate conception that was immaculate conception come into the Bible man you know all that just ties in and they just incorporate it all into the Bible but the Bible tell you that there's no such thing as immaculate conception man it's just that it was incorporated during the Roman period man you know so that's basically Simeramis is put on that story and that's where you get New Year's from right after Christmas man cause really that's the time period where he died and rose again basically man you know? Like niggas, niggas don't even get it to all. They just do it because it's fun, man. You know? Go ahead. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 16. Uh, and he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. Oh, that's, that's it. Uh, give me Jeremiah 14 and 10. 10 through 16. We're going to wrap it up. So Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 10 Thus saith the Lord unto, his, unto this people Thus have they loved to wander They have not refrained their feet Therefore the Lord doth not accept them He will not remember their iniquity and uh, He will now remember their iniquity And visit their sins Yeah that's right because we all We all sin We all committed iniquity But the perfect as the ones that put on the uh, on the blood of your house shot, man. But y'all that love to wonder. One day you got on Daishiki, one day you celebrating Christmas, you're a whole Native American celebrating Thanksgiving, but you out here protesting at the North Dakota pipelines. You know, like, you're wandering, man. So therefore, the most High gonna remember your iniquities, man. You basically indicted yourself, man. Go ahead. 
Then said the Lord unto me, Pray not for this people for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. That's right. The Lord don't deal with everybody. He said when you fast, he will not hear your cry if you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. You out here uh, 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 eating on that on that Thanksgiving and Christmas ham, the Lord ain't listening to you, man. First off, you ain't supposed to be eating ham. Second off, you ain't supposed to be eating, eating none of that shit in the name of Christmas or any holiday, man. You know? That shit, that shit on mind boggling when I, when I, I know this, this bitch is a Native American. She had the North Dakota pipeline. She has went to New York to protest this. Then you're going, then I find a bitch going to school telling me I can't wait to get I'm like, what the fuck you going to school for? You know, you're, you're a native. You know so-called white man ain't shit. And then I see you on, on Thanksgiving celebrating Thanksgiving. I was like, God damn. You, 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 you fucking natives is stupid, man. You know? I used to have a respect for Native Americans until I started actually meeting them, man. You know? Because I was so used to it. I met God, I said the truth, man. That's all I knew. And I started, you know, got out here, I started actually running into him. Like, he's got damn, man. These niggas getting shot on reservations now, and on, on, at, to this day, and you celebrating Thanksgiving? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Chilling under a fucking Christmas tree and shit. Stupid, man. That ain't, that, if, if that ain't that ain't your God, that ain't your Native American God, for one, at the fucking least, you know? He says, when they fast, I will not hear their cry, and when they offer burnt offering and, and an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. That's why the Lord ain't moving on, on these atrocities that come to pass on our people, man. Salakia. That's why the Most High is moving on these atrocities that come to pass on our people, because niggas is full of fucking abominations, man. They full of it, man. Like they say, it's not what goes into the mouth of the Father, man, what comes out. Your ass got pork on your breath. Your ass is saying the name of Jesus. The Lord ain't, the Lord name ain't Jesus. The Lord, you, you talking about, uh, 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 you got anointing coming outside of what the scriptures say, you know, who deserves that anointing. You, you, you just, you just an abomination, a walking abomination, man. Okay? Go ahead. Then said I. And it I, really, because the men ain't in the house. You women are, are, are natural born wanderers, man. You don't know where the fuck you going. You know? Verse 13, then said I, our Lord power. Behold. And then, it's like it. It's like we're cutting you off, brother. But, but, the women, women will be out here calling nigga fake, they don't want no fake nigga, but you got fake hair, a fake ass, fake titties, got lipstick, got makeup on. You know, I've seen a little video on, on, on YouTube, real world star, where the dude, he, he, he was sitting down next to the chick, the nigga took his mustache, his beard off, took his fucking muscles off, you know, took his leg off, and the bitch ain't want him no more. That's, you know, that, that's how we feel. When you had to take that, that corset off, you, you take you take the seen a I seen a video of a bitch with a butt pad on, a butt pad falling all out the pants and she twerking with you. like what the hell man? You women is fake and you talking about you don't want a fake fake nigga, man. All that makeup and weave in your head. You know? That's crazy, man. What if a dude did that, man? That's crazy. That's that's a bulk of you niggas too. Y'all fake y'all just fake as these women, man. Living a lifestyle, got got your got your bill money flexing on, on Facebook or Instagram and shit, man. But your bill pay your bills, man. I pay that your food, man. Yeah, put that seven dollars up. Show the remainder. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah 14 and 13. Then said I, our Lord Power, behold, the prophet say unto them, Ye shall not uh, see the sword, neither shall ye have famine. But I will give you a short peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. Yeah, so that's what they always say. All this, you know, this Christmas spirit, man, we're supposed to be in the spirit of mourning, man. You know? 
Really, the only thing you should be excited about is the fact that these prophecies are coming to pass, man. But that stress these niggas that send that Christmas spirit out, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Yeah, like I talk to somebody and say, man, yeah, man, when I talk about God, I don't know too much about the scriptures. All I can talk about is a blessing. A, a blessing coming your way. That's all because you don't have the word in you, man. Blessings ain't coming uh, coming a lot of you niggas way, man. Why you why do you deserve a blessing when, when you ain't serving the Lord? Then because you pray over your food, because you call upon name and say, yes, Lord, thank you. That means you serving him. Okay? It's go to your, that's like going to work saying hello to your boss and then going in the bathroom and go to sleep. That don't, that don't mean you going, that don't mean you working. You say hello to your boss and say, yeah, yeah yo, your outfit look nice today. Thank you for the check. That don't mean you working. You know? Go ahead. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not, yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Yep, by sword and famine. So the same people say the blessing, they're going to be, they're going to, they're going to starve to death, man. All that anointing and all that, that's when them curses going to come on them, man. Plagues. All y'all, man. Because y'all believe that shit, man. That suit said, pop sign to us smooth things. That old bogus ass mindset. You know? That, that should be into that video. Uh, 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 this is uh, Jeremiah 14 and 16. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. Yeah, so at the end of the day, Y'all taking heed to these false prophets, y'all taking heed to, really y'all taking heed to these bogus ass ways in America, it's gonna be to your destruction, man. And ain't nobody gonna be able to save you, man. Because the most, the same people that you're using to defend your lifestyle with, is gonna be, not gonna have the power to save you from the most high's hand, man. Okay? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Okay? And they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. That's right. You up here got served Christmas because of your child. Hey, when the Lord come, you ain't gonna better, you ain't gonna better stop none of that. He's gonna get at you, your child, your wife, all that. He's gonna lay all that down, man. Who gonna save you then? You're gonna heavily consider the ways of the Lord then, but it's gonna be too late, man. When the Lord say, I never knew you. Who are those people? The, the people that got Christmas hat on called on the, Lord, the name of the Lord. He don't know you. You know? It, it, it's a, it, it's a, um, that hat is blocking your prayers from getting out of that, man. That's probably what it signifies. Going into that little white ball at the end, man. Yeah, that was into that. Uh, if I may add to that, the scriptures say, you know, to add on to what the brother's saying, hey man, and call on them guys when it, when it's time when that uh, that that uh, destruction comes. Yeah, call, call on them, man. You know, call on call on Nimrod. Call, yeah, call on Santa, call Santa Claus, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> Krampus, y'all. Yeah. Call on Santa Claus, like yo, Krampus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that letter. You know. Uh, 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 this is Psalms chapter one hundred six. In verse 34, Break it, down to it says, They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. You know, and like we've been going into today, this is a snare unto our people, man. Christmas. You know, these, di these different idols, man. You know, this is a snare unto our people. And, and who, who put that snare out there? Ultimately, it was through the, the power of Yahweh Shem El Shai, but he did it through these heathen nations, man. Our people followed them ways through the heathen nations because they thought, this is this is what we're supposed to be doing. Well, ultimately, you're supposed to be serving him, man. This you didn't you want to you want to be among these nations, and that's that's what you niggas are doing today, man. Y'all wanna be y'all wanna be so a part of America, so a part of what's what's popular in this place that y'all forgetting. The one who brought your ass out of Egypt. 
the one who the only one that's gonna save you when the, the times become crucial. You gotta remember these things, man. That's why we out here week in, week out, all throughout the year, and saying the same thing. Y'all, y'all, y'all people are hard headed, man. Yeah, it's, it's stiff neck, man. Yeah, it's stiff neck. You just gotta do cursing on cursing. You know? That's a hard headed, it's stiff neck, man. You know? That's that's all it is, man. It says, uh, verse 37, it says, Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the blood was, uh, the land was polluted with blood. You know, uh, what you were saying earlier, um, you know, about uh, how, how, how you raise your children, how, how, how you're going to satisfy your children, or uh, something to that. Man, I'm not about to get my kids over to the devil, man. Together, don't mean I'm gonna teach my kids how to do that shit. I'm not gonna show. I'm not gonna show my. Uh, I, I don't have kids personally, but I, I have younger relatives, and if I have the opportunity to teach them something, it's not gonna be about the fucking Christmas, man. Yeah, fuck this place, man. Fuck you know? Christmas. Christmas week is hell. We say it. We're state face, man. Shit, fuck this place, man. You know, it's at the point, but at the same time, you know, I don't even tell people like, you know, hey, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Yeah, you have a nice day, man. Take it easy. No, I ain't gonna go. I don't fuck Christmas. I haven't been through that argument, an hour argument. I'm, I'm ready to get off. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you take it easy, man. You know? Now I walk off. Fuck Christmas. You know? Oh, oh, I, at my job, man, we had a little Christmas party. We had to go to. Well, we we didn't have to go to. I wouldn't. They were giving out gift cards. So I got my gift card. I got that motherfucker and I sat there, he was giving out donations and shit. Hey, man, Merry Christmas. I said, man, I'm putting up curses, man. You know, I ain't saying that. Hey, Merry Christmas. I said, man, all your house burned down. I hope one of y'all get robbed, you know? All that, man. You know? Yeah, so with that being said, I'm gonna say, all praise to you. I don't find shit y'all shy. The honest apostles slash elders with your gym message. Bless the salutations to you, brothers out there enduring true sincerity, and all you women out there that do endure true sincerity. Shalom. So